What's up everybody, it's your boy Clayton Philpo, and today we're going to be talking about how you can make a million bucks for retirement in the military. Now I know the title is a little bit weird, but hear me out. You have the opportunity to have one million dollars by the time you turn 65 years old, setting you up for a successful retirement. Now anybody in the military can do this, but not a lot of people do, because it takes a lot of fortitude up front when you're young. So... There's this thing called the Thrift Savings Plan, uh, also called the TSP is what we'll call it. And the TSP is kind of like a 401k for any other business or anything like that. Essentially, you put money into it and that money then compounds over time. So to give you an example, let's say you start out by putting in $3,000 a year into your TSP for like three or let's say three years. So if you, let's say by the time you're 21, You've put in $3,000 a year, and that money is just going to keep compounding and compounding. And let's say you leave it alone. And that doesn't matter if it doesn't matter if you get out of the military or if you stay in the military. That money will be in there, and it will continue to build and build and build. So over time, by the time you reach 65 years old, that money is going to have completely just blown up. And you will have at least a million dollars. And don't take my word for it. You can go on and do a TSP calculator, figure out, let's say, you know, you're 24, you're 25, you have to put in this much money so that 65 years old, it'll then double, triple, quadruple up to a million dollars. And so how, so, okay, well, this TSP, it sounds great, but why don't people do it? Again, young people don't like to put money away, you know, because we're young. We want to go buy that Xbox or that iPad or whatever it might be. And we don't think about when we're going to be 65 years old and we can't work anymore. And we just want to enjoy, you know, our last, you know, quarter of our life on earth. You know what I mean? So it takes a lot of uh, fortitude to put the money in to the TSP and keep it there. So let's talk more about the benefits of having a TSP. One thing is you don't have to pay taxes on that TSP money uh, up front. So if you're putting money into your TSP, you're paying less in taxes. Now, when you go to pull the money out, yes, you're going to have to pay some taxes later down the road, but you're going to save so much money just on not having to pay taxes on your money by putting funds into that account. There's also different funds within the TSP. Uh, there's the G fund, the F fund, the C fund. So basically what these funds are, are they're just they're different funds within the government that you can invest in and some of them have a little bit higher risk some of them have a little bit higher reward you know so a lot of people like to put their funds into the i fund uh, and watch their money gain a little bit more traction or you can play it super safe put it in the g fund and uh, that money is never going to you know go bad because it's the government securities fund and uh, that number that money is just never going to go away it's always going to keep building up no matter what fund you put it into, you're going to make money. I, I'm almost 100% certain. And uh, if you just, you know, bite the bullet, put in that $3,000 a year for just a couple of years, you're going to have a really, really nice retirement. Uh, and that, that means you can only do three years or four years in the military and then get out and that money will keep on building. So what I recommend to you is when you get into boot camp, they're, they're going to ask you how much money would you like to put into your TSP? They'll, they'll tell you the exact same stuff I'm telling you right now. And most people put about 6% of their paycheck or 7% of their paycheck. I urge you, I urge you, put in like 25 or 30% of your paycheck, you know, because you're going to be a private, you're going to be a Lance Corporal. You don't need to go out and buy a whole bunch of stuff. You don't have any bills to pay. You know, ideally, you don't have a wife to support or a husband to support. Uh, you don't have to pay electricity bills. So take that time right up front and put a good chunk of money into that TSP account. And if later down the road you find that you put way too much of your paycheck in there, you can just change it. You can go on the internet and change your contribution amount and pull that money back out. It's not a big deal. But I encourage anybody who is just joining the military to put a good chunk of their paycheck into the TSP. Now I talked about matching contributions. So right now the army is the main one testing out doing matching contributions, which means if you put in $3,000, the army will match $3,000. So essentially you're getting free money right off the bat. That's crazy, right? You put in $3,000, they'll give you $3,000 and then that money will keep on multiplying. Now at the moment for most services, 
it just goes off of what money you put in from your paycheck, which is still a really, really good deal. However, if, and if, I mean, I'll update you guys if over the next few months or years that they update it so that it's matching contributions, uh, that's huge, okay? That's a really big deal because essentially you're just missing out on free money at that point. Again, I'll update you uh, if and when things change on that. In the comments below, you know, tell me about what you're doing for retirement. I know we're all really young. I mean, most of you guys are probably between the ages of like, I'm going to guess like 14 and 25, probably in that, that range. What are you guys doing right now to make sure you're good for retirement? And I know that's something, that's a weird question. That's something that not a lot of people ask, but I think it's really, really important. And we need to uh, think about it right now, you know? Uh, so again, do some of your own research, Google thrift savings plan, uh, talk to your parents about it. Maybe they might know something about it. Find out about other 401ks and things like that. And comment below, tell me what are you doing to make sure you're good for retirement instead of buying that brand new sweet Mustang or iPhone. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.